Hey everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments, and today we'll be going over the different ways to use expansions with FL Studio. We'll be covering finding samples and dragging them into your DAW, using expansions with complete control, battery, and using machine as a plugin. With expansions, you can use the audio files that get installed and just drag them directly into your DAW without needing to use machine or complete control, depending on your workflow. When you install the expansion, the preferences of Native Access have a content location. This is the location where the library or audio files for the expansion get saved. In my case, I have my library saved on an external hard drive. If I select the samples folder from within the expansion, everything is organized so it's easy to find the sound, instrument, or loop I'm looking for. I can drag these audio files directly into my DAW. While we're here in Finder, I can also drag this folder to my FL browser so I'll always have quick access to my expansion folders. Under the sound folder, you can access the preset files for the instrument presets that come with the expansion as well. Another way that you can easily access expansion loops, one shots, and presets is by loading up an instance of the Complete Control plugin. In addition to being able to load instruments in Complete Control, you can easily find and sort your samples across all the expansions you have installed. The three icons above the browser represent instruments, loops, and one shots. If I select the loops icon and click where it says all loops, I can now see all of my installed expansions in my browser. Selecting one lets me view all of the loops available in this expansion. I can filter and refine the type of loop I'm looking for by selecting different tags. Additionally, if I have all the loops selected, I can filter all of my expansions at once. There may be a good loop from an expansion whose genre is different from the project you're working on. Clicking on a loop in the browser gives me a preview which plays in time to my project's BPM, so I'm hearing my loops in context. I can drag the name of the loop from the browser directly in FL and start chopping it up. This process works the same if I click on the one shots icon. I can filter and drag the sample into FL from the browser. If you double click a loop in Complete Control, it'll load the loop in Complete Control's audio engine. I can record a MIDI note in FL and it will trigger the sample and stretch it automatically so it plays in time with my project. Here's another example. Expansions also come with a handful of presets for Massive, Monarch, and Prism which you can access in Complete Control. I'll click on my instruments icon and select Massive. Below Massive, you can see where it says All Banks. Clicking this will make a drop-down menu appear and I can click on any of my expansions. The browser will now show all Massive presets for the select expansion. I can further refine the list by using the filters and find a particular sound. You can also use Banks with Battery. I'll select Battery in the Complete Control Browser and select All Banks and choose an expansion. The names in the browser are the different kits that were created in the expansions. Clicking the text will give me a preview letting me hear which sounds are included in this kit. Double click will load this kit into a 4x4 grid in Battery and now I can sequence a pattern in FL. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard to sequence your pattern, you can use your mouse and draw it in manually. There are also a couple kits exclusive to batteries, such as All Kicks, which loads up a 72 cell grid with the majority of kick drums included in that expansion. This is helpful if you want to try out different kick drums for your project. You could also build your own kits in battery by going to File, New Kit, and creating an empty program. Then go to the One Shots tab and drag in samples to make your own. I'm going to click on Drums, then Sort by Snares and I'll drag a few in. If you want to bypass complete control altogether and program just using battery, with an instance of battery open in FL, you can simply type in the name of the expansion and all the kits in that expansion will show up in the browser. Double clicking will load the kit in the 4x4 grid. Lastly, you can always use expansions with machine running as a plugin in FL. You can find the expansions under the Groups tab, find a kit, and start sequencing a machine. 
One expansion feature that is exclusive to the machine software is the plus pattern. Each kit comes with a couple pre-made patterns that you can load in in addition to loading the sounds. These kits also include machine factory effects on the individual sounds and the group as a whole. You can use these as a starting point, or if you need a quick drum pattern, you can use them as is. Once you've created your pattern, you can leave it in machine, or you can click and hold the audio waveform and drag it into FL. This will convert the pattern into an audio file, and then you can chop it up in FL. This should give you a solid overview of different ways you can use expansions with FL Studio. If you want to see more tips and tricks with expansions, drop a comment below on what you want to see next.